least in the picture. You don't have to, you have to scoot up just a little bit. So. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Like you're scooting away. Morning. 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 Brian, Samuel, and Nancy here today. Happy Independence Day to everyone. And we'll get going in a couple of yep. minutes here with on page, we'll probably start on page 78 of the Book of Common Prayer with the opening. Good morning, Tracy. Good morning. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. Got a flag, our red and white. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Just missing our blue. <laughs> uh, I'll go put on a blue shirt. Well, then we wouldn't be missing the white. Oh, yes. <laughs> Good morning, Amanda. Morning, Mrs. Garcia. Good morning. Our cat's going, who are y'all talking to? <laughs> Come over here. Can't be in the camera? Come on. No, There's no way. <laughs> <laughs> Why would anybody want to do that? All right. Just about 30 seconds. <laughs> Happy Fourth of July, everybody. Independence. Independence Day. We already said that. I thought it would say it. Oh, day. happy Fourth. Happy Fourth of July, everyone. Have a safe Fourth. Have a safe Fourth. All right. Go ahead, Sam. It's eight o'clock. We'll start on page seventy-eight in your Book of Common Prayer. Grace to you and peace from God, our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Turning to page 79, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done and by what we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart. We, we have not loved, loved our neighbors, neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit to keep us in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth and shall proclaim, proclaim your praise. praise. Glory, Glory to, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Alleluia. Worship the Lord, and in the beauty of his holiness, come, let us adore him. Turn, turn it to page 82. We'll say together the Jubilate. Be joyful in the Lord, all, all you lands. Serve, serve the Lord with gladness, and, and come before his presence with a song. Know, know this, the Lord, Lord himself is God. <clears throat> he himself has made us, made us and we, we are his. his. We and are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his faithfulness endures from age to age. Now turning to page. <clears throat> yes, Psalm 137 on page 792. Yeah. And we'll follow that <clears throat> with uh, verses 1 through 6, and then we'll follow that with uh, 
Psalm 144 on page 801. Psalm 137, page 792. Yeah, Psalm 137 on page 792. By the waters of back, we will, we will be reading responsibly by whole verse. By the waters of Babylon, we sat down and wept when we remembered you, when we remembered you O Zion. As, As for our harps, we hung them up on the, the trees in the midst of that land. land. For those who led us away captive asked us for a song, and our oppressors called for mirth. Sing, sing us one, one of the songs of Zion. How shall we sing the Lord's song upon an alien soil? If I forget you, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget its skill. Let my, my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth, if I, I do not remember you, if I do not set Jerusalem above my highest joy. <clears throat> remember the day of Jerusalem, O Lord, and again to the people of Edom. We said, Down with it, down with it, even to the ground. O daughter of Babylon, doomed Doom to destruction. destruction. Happy the one who pays you back for what you have done to us. Happy shall he be who, ta who takes your little ones and dashes them against the rock. Glory to the Father. In wait, wait, we're going to go to page one, to page 800. Yes. To page 800. Yes. Psalm 144. Psalm 144 on page 800. Blessed be the Lord my rock, who trains my hands and to find my fingers and my fingers to battle. My help and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust, who subdues the peoples under me. O Lord, what are we that you, you should care and care for us? Mere mortals that you, sh you should think of us. We are like a puff of wind. Our days are like a passing shadow. Bow your heavens, O Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains, and they shall smoke. Hurl the lightning and scatter them. Shoot out your arrows and rout them. Stretch out your hand from on high. Rescue me and deliver me from the great waters, from the hand of foreign peoples. Whose mouth speak deceitfully, and whose right hand is raised in falsehood. O God, I will sing to you a new song. I will play to you on the ten string liar. You give victory to kings and have rescued David your servant. Rescue me from your from the hurtful sword, and deliver me from the hand of foreign peoples. Whose mouth speak deceitfully, and whose right hand is raised in rough falsehood. We are sons be like plants well nurtured from their youth, and our daughters like sculptured corners of the palace. May our barns be filled to overflowing with all manner of crops. May the flocks and our pastures increase by thousands and tens of thousands. May our cattle be fat and sleek. May there be no breaching of the walls, no going into exile, no boiling in the public squares. Happy are the people of whom this is so. Happy are the people whose God is the Lord. Glory to the Father, and, and to the, the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is, is now, and, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Our first reading today is from Numbers. From the 24th chapter. Starting in verse 12. Thank yep. you. And Balaam said to Balak, Did I not tell you your messengers whom you sent me, sent to me? If Balak should give me his house full of silver and gold, I would not be able to go beyond the word of the Lord, to do either good or bad of my own will. What the Lord says, that is what, what I will say. Now, so now I'm going to my so now I'm going to my people. Let me advise you what this people will do to your people in days to come. So he uttered his oracle, saying, The oracle of Balaam, son of Beor, the oracle of a man whose eye is clear, the oracle of one who hears the words of God and knows the knowledge of the Most High. 
who sees the vision of the Almighty, who falls down, but with his eyes uncovered. I see him, but not now. I behold him, but not near. A star shall come out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel. It shall crush the, crush the borderlands of Moab and the territory of all the Shethites. Edom will become a possession, Seir, a possession of its enemies, while Israel does valiantly. One out of Jacob shall rule and destroy the survivors of the earth. Then shall, <clears throat> then he looked on Amalek and uttered his oracle saying, first among the nations was Amalek, but its end is to perish forever. Then he looked on the Kenite and uttered his oracle saying, enduring is your dwelling place and your nest is set in the rock. Yet Cain is destined for burning. How long will Asher take, your, take you away captive? Again, he uttered his oracle saying, Alas, who shall live when God does this? But ships shall come from Kittim and shall afflict Asher and Eber, and he shall also perish forever. Then Balaam got up and went back to his place, and Balak also went his way. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now we'll say canticle number uh, 12 on page 88. Canticle number 12, on page 38. Son of Creation. Glorify the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise, Praise him, him and highly exalt, exalt him forever. forever. In the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, you angels, and all powers of the Lord. O heavens and all waters above the heavens, sun and moon and stars of the sky, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord every shower of rain and fall of dew, all winds and fire and heat. Winter and summer, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O chill and cold, drops of dew and flakes of snow, frost and cold, ice and sleet. Glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord in the nights and days, O shining light and enfolding dark, storm clouds and thunderbolts, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Let the earth glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O mountains and hills, and all that grows upon the earth. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O springs of water, seas and streams, O whales and all that move in the waters. All birds of the air, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O beasts of the wild, and all you flocks and herds. O men and women everywhere, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Let the people of God glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O priests and servants of the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O spirits and souls of the righteous. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. You that are holy and humble of heart, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Let us glorify the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. In the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. And we're going to go to Romans 8, starting at verse 18. Give me a minute to find that. Romans 8. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. 
starting at verse 18. I consider this, that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory about to be revealed to us, for the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the children of God. For the creation was subjected to futility, not of its own, not of its own will, but by the will of the one who subjected it, in hope that the creation itself will be set free from its bondage to decay and will obtain the freedom of the glory of the children of God. We know that the whole creation has been groaning in labor pains until now, and not only the creation, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, groan inwardly while we wait for our adoption, the redemption of our bodies. For in hope we were saved. Now hope that is seen is not hope. For who hopes for what is seen? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. The word of the Lord. Thanks well, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks Sorry, be, be to God. <clears throat> Turning to page 94, and we keep saying canticle number 19. Canticle 19, the Song of the Redeemed, on page 94. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great, great deeds are they that you have done, done surpassing human understanding. understanding. Your, Your ways, ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O King, King of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Gospel reading it comes from Matthew chapter 22, verses, 30, verses 23 through 40. Matthew chapter 23, verse, chapter 22, verses 23 through 40. Oh. I'm sorry, you're right. <laughs> Three more, yep. sorry. Small reading print. from the Gospel of Matthew. The same, the same day, some Sadducees, sent, who came, some Sadducees came to him saying, there is no resurrection. There is no resurrection. And he asked him a question, saying, Teacher, Moses said, If a man dies childless, his brother shall marry the widow, and raise up children for his brother. Now there were seven brothers among us. The first married, then died childless, and died childless, leaving the widow to his brother. The second did the same, so also the third, and down to the seventh. Last of all, the woman who the woman herself died in the resurrection when, when his wife of the seven will she be. For all of them had married her. Jesus answered them, you, you are wrong, because you know neither the scriptures nor the power of God. For in the resurrection did neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are like angels in heaven. But as for the resurrection of the dead, have you not re read what you have said to you? What was said to you by God? I am, the, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is God, not not of the dead, but of the living. And when the crowd heard it, they were astounded at his teaching. And when the Pharisees heard that he had silenced his, had silenced his Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a lawyer, asked, asked them the question to test him. Teacher, which command? Commandments in the law is the greatest. He said to them, "You shall the Lord, Lord, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest in the, and first commandments. And the second is like it: you shall love your, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets." Now, while the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them this question. What do you think of the Messiah? Whose son is he? They, they said to him, The son of David, he said, he said to them. How is it then to David by, by the Spirit calls him the Lord, saying, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand, until I put your enemies under your feet. If David thus calls him Lord, how, how can he be his son? 
No one was able to get to give him to give him an answer. Nor for what what day did anyone dare to ask him any more questions. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Turning to page ninety six in your book of common prayer as we confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, was buried. He descended into the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Suffragist A, Suffragist B, save, save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Gather and uphold them, now, them now, now and always. always. Day by day we bless you. We, we praise, praise your name, name forever. forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have, have mercy, mercy on us, Lord. Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we, we put, put our trust, trust in you. In you, Lord, is our help. And we, we shall, shall never, never hope, hope in vain. vain. Now, so, the call, the call it, the call it on independent. Now, the call it, call it, call it for proper aids for the Sunday closest to June 29th. Almighty God, do I build your church upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, and Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone, grant us so to be joined together in unity of the spirits by their teaching, that we may be made a holy temple acceptable to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I'll just read the pattern. Do you know how to pass for it? Collect for collect on Independence Day. Lord God Almighty, in whose name the founder founders of this li of this country born liberty for themselves and for us, and lit the torch of freedom for nations then unborn. Grant that we and all the people of this land may have grace to maintain our liberties and righteousness and peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit. One God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Almighty, turning to page 99, call it the Saturdays. Almighty God, who after the creation of the world, rested from all your works and sanctified a day of rest for all your for all your creatures, grant that we, putting away all earthly anxieties, and be duly prepared for the service of your sanctuary. And that our rest here upon earth may be a preparation for the eternal rest promised to your people in heaven. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Calling for guidance. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit. And in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 
Lord Jesus Christ, you spread you out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So flood us in your spirits, that we, reaching forth your, our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you. For the honor of your name. Amen. 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 Now, if you have any prayer requests, please add them into your comments. Let's see what we got here. Sure, we've got something. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, we want to wish you again a happy Independence Day and a good morning to everyone. And uh, oh. here we go. Let's see all those are the scripture references. And uh, so this morning, um, Almighty Father, we give you thanks for our country, the United States, uh, we give you thanks for um, uh, our freedom and liberty. We pray for an equal application of that liberty. We pray for an equal ap application of that freedom to all. We pray for the whole world that they may enjoy uh, freedom and liberty and um, that they may uh, escape from the bonds of tyranny and oppression. Uh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for all those who have uh, given their lives and laid them down that we might have freedom in this country. We lift up those, Lord, who as of now stand guard over this country and uh, serve us daily and keep watch over our liberty. And we lift up those now, Lord, who are battling against this virus, COVID-19. We pray for an end to this period of our, this chapter of our history. This year, 2020, started out with uh, so much hope and, Lord, it's gone a different direction than we expected. But we know in the midst of this tragedy, it's, some good things have happened. And that, uh, Lord, we pray for uh, a swift end, though, to this, uh, this period. And we pray for the healing of all those who are sick with this virus. We pray for all those in our congregation who are suffering with pain, various afflictions. Also all those that uh, have lost their employment as a result and are now looking for employment. We, uh, Lord, we ask that, uh, that they will find jobs that their uh, jobs that they were employed at will come back. We pray all these things uh, according to your will, Lord. We just uh, give you thanks. Is there anything anybody would like to add? We covered everything this week, so. <laughs> so we, we pray efficiently for me. me. Mimi Tanner. And yes. So please bless her and restore her to health. Amen. Amen. We also lift up Paula O'Neill. We pray for her healing, Lord. Yes, Lord, it's a thing that's coming. Touch her now, bring her healing. Yes, we, again, we lift up those who are sick and, and unemployed. We pray for Joan Lewis, who needs healing. We pray for, again, for our nation that we might be unified and be, excuse me, one in spirit and purpose. We pray for Ben Morris' successful knee surgery on July 21st. We pray for the, 
We pray, we pray for the, those who are planning the upcoming, upcoming school year for our state's children and their parents. Yes. Yep. Yep, we pray for uh, that things will be settled and be able to, uh, people will feel good about the choices that they are able to make. We lift up all these things in Jesus' name. And we give you thanks and praise, Lord. Amen. 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 Wait. <laughs> Wait. We can pray over the rest of them. Anything else that comes in later. Yes. As well. Okay. 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 Yes, we do. Yes, our president and their leaders are very important. We lift them up too, and we will continue to pray for all, all right. these concerns. Amen. Prayer. Let us say the general thanksgiving on page 101 in your Book of Common Prayer. Almighty God, God Father, Father of all mercies, we, our unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your, your goodness and loving kindness, kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of the Lord. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies, that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions, this may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation, from generation to generation in the church, and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. 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 All right. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Thank and, you. Uh, Come back at 1210. Thank you for joining us. Yes, for the noonday prayer at 1210 today. And we have Compline tonight at 8 o'clock. And uh, we do have, uh, let's see, we do have noonday prayer Monday through Fridays at 1210. We have morning prayer every day at 8 a.m. And uh, 8 p.m. we have Compline every day. Tomorrow we have uh, the Holy Eucharist at 10 a.m. We do have a live service tomorrow morning at, in our north parking lot, uh, live uh, our Eucharist service. Uh, and uh, bring your chairs and your prayer book. And uh, it's 7 a.m. on that. This is 7 a.m. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, Sam will be acolyting. I will be acolyting. <laughs> 7 yeah, at 7 a.m. <laughs> face space services at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning in the parking lot. Right, north parking lot. Yep. Should, yep. Park in the south, service in the north. That's right. So have a good, great day, everyone. Again, happy 4th of July. And, happy uh, Independence Day. Independence happy Day. Independence, happy Independence <laughs> Day. <laughs> well, you know. Bye, everybody. Bye, Thank everybody. you. Thank you. Thanks.